Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to split your audio for recording, for streaming, for shadow play, pretty much everything. I couldn't really find another tutorial on YouTube that covered all of the parts of this video that I'm gonna do. I kind of picked up a little bit here, a little bit there, and it took me a lot of running around to really piece together all the things that I needed to get this setup working. Okay, so here is my audio setup at the moment. Now for you, you probably not have cable input and cable A and cable B. You'll probably just have your speakers or your headphones. And the problem is that all of your audio is going to there. So if you're running Discord, if you've got Spotify playing in the background, whatever, it's all gonna be recording on top and in between your game audio. Um, it's not gonna be editable for you if you wanna make a YouTube video with that or whatever. So what you need is more audio tracks. So we'll start with that. And what I like to use is this software called VB Audio. Now you guys will have probably watched some other tutorials about this application here called Voice Meter or Voice Meter Banana. I don't really like using that because it's just another application that you have to have running the whole time, otherwise it won't work. And that's where you can, you know, split your audio, decide what you want to send to your stream, what you want to hear in your headphones, etc. But that means whenever you're streaming or, or recording, you're always gonna have to have this application running. And we already have enough of those when we're streaming, as you guys already know. So I don't really like this method. What I prefer to use is the audio cables. Now you can see here it's displaying uh, cable import. So basically the guy gives you one of these for free. If you click on the downloader here, you will get a zipped file. And I know it looks like a lot of files in here and quite complicated but believe me it's not all you do is unzip this to a folder of your choosing and then run vbcablesetup.exe run that and what it will do is install this audio cable here into your machine and once it's installed you can just delete all of these files you don't need to keep them on your machine there isn't like a program that you need to have running or anything like that just get rid of them now what i recommend is just using the gray one here and trying that out before you go and pick up the other two. Because the other two, in fact, you can get four if you need four. You can see here, there is VB cable A and B, which is what I use. And then there's also C and D. So if you need like another four cables, you can get those. Um, but A and B costs about five euros. Now, I know most of you will have been looking for a free solution, but I can assure you, I have been using this guy's software for probably seven years now and it is solid, man. I've never had a problem with it. It's always been like the best thing I can find for this. So it's basically donation where you can pay 10 euros or 15 or whatever you want. But if you like, I think you can get away with, I think it's $5 or five euros. So basically you want to go ahead and pick up VB cable A and B once you've made sure the cable output, this one here that comes for free is working okay for you. Okay, so once you've extracted those files, you've installed all three of those cables on your machine. Uh, if we go back to our microphone settings here, our sound panel, then you should have something that looks like this. You should have three of these cables. Now, what I like to do here is set cable A to my default audio. So your game that you're playing, your YouTube video that you're watching, anything that goes to default audio is gonna be funneled into cable A. And then I like to reserve cable B for Discord or whatever communications you use, maybe Skype or something. And then cable import I use for Spotify or your music player. Now, what you need to do is come over here. Once you've set cable A as your default device, you wanna come over here into recording and you need to right click your cable, go to properties, go to listen, click listen to this device. And then you wanna select whatever you listen to. So for me, this is my sound card, the Asus Zonar DGX audio device. For you, it may be a pair of headphones, it may be a pair of speakers, whatever you use to listen to your device, uh, to, sorry, to listen to your PC, you should select that, okay? Now you're gonna want to do that for all three of the cables. So here, cable output, you know, listen, you can see I've done the same thing, okay? So do that for all three of those. And once you've got that set up, we then need to go to our programs and tell them which cable we want to send that sound to. So we've already set cable A as our default audio. So anything that 
defaults to the default audio, essentially like games and YouTube where you can't set the audio, that's where those things are gonna go, okay? Now we want our communications to go to cable B. So I'm gonna go and open up Discord here because I think that is what most of you are going to be using. You're gonna go and click the cog, go to user settings, go to voice and video, and all you do on your output device is it will probably be set as default. If you have it as default, it's going to go to that cable A. Um, that's not what we want. We want to separate it out. So what you want to do is select cable B input, job done, close that. Now, a lot of you will be wondering uh, who are using Spotify, how can I tell Spotify where I want to put my audio? Because if you come in here and you go to like your settings, you'll notice there are no settings in here that allow you to tell Spotify exactly where you want to send the audio. By default, it will just send your audio to whatever you've got with the green tick here. So it will be sending it to cable A. So there's a little workaround for this that they recently added to Windows 10. You used to have to run a separate program for this called Audio Router, but now if you right click your speaker tab there, go to open sound settings, and you scroll down here to advanced sound options, click on there, and you should see basically all of your sources that create sound, and you can tell them where you want them to output. Now, you may have Spotify open, like I do, and you don't see it on the list. So I'm just gonna turn the sound down here so that I don't get uh, copyrighted or anything. But as soon as you click play there, it should pop up on the list. And once it's popped up here, then you can tell it where you want it to output to. So as you can see, I have set mine to cable input. And you can probably do this with other music players. I only really use Spotify, so I'm not 100% on if other music players have, you know, like iTunes, maybe it has something built in like that. But if it doesn't, this should work for pretty much anything. Anything that outputs sound, guys, you can just go here, and here in Windows, you can specify where you want it to output to. Okay, so we've gotten our audio cables here. We've told our programs where we want them to send the audio. Now we've got to go and set up the recording end of things. Now I'm gonna go and quickly show you guys my shadow play settings here because maybe a lot of you are using that. In fact, as you can see, that is what I'm using to record this very video. So you go on the little cog there, go down to audio. And the thing with shadow play is you can only record two audio tracks. So it will always record system sounds by default. You can't change that one. It's so that's gonna be recording for me cable A at the moment with my game audio and whatever. And then here you usually record your microphone audio. You can change that to record um, Discord if you wanted to, but then you wouldn't have your microphone audio. So that's really where OBS comes in, uh, where OBS is really the king of recording. Okay, so here we are in OBS. Now, many of you, if you go to settings and audio, you will have your sound set up on here. And you guys may find this strange that I have everything disabled, but I can assure you, this is the better way to do things. So disable all of your audio here. And if you need audio, all you simply do is come down to your sources and you add it as a source. So if you want uh, an audio capture device, like a microphone, you just add it here, give it whatever name you want. As you can see here, I have an existing one that I just called microphone. And in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys. Let's just call this mic two, okay? And then you basically select whatever it is. Okay, so we want our microphone. So we'll select our microphone. Now let's say we want to add Spotify as another um, audio slider here that we can control. Let's go and get rid of that mic too there. You right click, click add, and this time we're gonna do audio output capture. So, you know, for Discord, for anything that's playing from your machine, you're gonna to want to use audio output. Click on that and we'll, let's just call this music. And since we told Spotify to output to cable input, that's what we want to select there. That's the only thing that's gonna be on cable input is our Spotify audio. Okay. So let's go and quickly just delete that so it doesn't clutter things up. So you can see that's what I've done, right? You know, I've got my desktop sound here on a separate audio slider. So when I'm streaming, I'm able to turn the sound of the desktop up and down. Here I've got my Discord sound, which is if, you go, if we go right click here and I go in properties, you can see I've got it listed as cable B because if you remember, that's where we told Discord to send our sound. So that's Discord. 
Here we've got our microphone. And then here I have Spotify in-game. And again, if you right click here, go to properties, you'll see that is cable input. Now you may be saying, Ghost, why bother adding sources this way? Why not just add it in the settings menu? Well, the good thing about this is if we go to my just chatting scene, um, here you'll see, no, sorry, not just chatting, starting soon. So this is my starting soon scene before I've actually started my stream. And here you'll see I only have one audio slider here. If you add audio in here, if I select my microphone here, for example, uh, sorry, I went on the wrong one there. You'll see that it pops up here, mic aux, and it will be in every single scene. So if I come here, it's in this scene. If I come down to this scene here, which has nothing in it, guess what? Mic audio uh, aux shows up. So let's go and take that off again. But when you add sources or you add your sound as a source, it only shows up in that particular scene that it's been added to. So here I've got my starting sound music, which is just uh, Spotify. And you'll see I've got it set to zero decibels. When I go to my just chatting scene, I have a separate Spotify audio channel and that's set to minus seven decibels. So I don't have to mess about switching scenes, you know, changing the audio up and down. As soon as I change to just chatting, the audio is set to the right level. It automatically goes down because it's switching to a different audio output and everything just works really nice. You'll see if I go over to my gaming scene here, I have my Discord included in my gaming scene, but I don't have it included in just chatting. Anyway, that's a quick explanation of the advantages of adding sound outputs and inputs as a source. Now, when it comes to recording and streaming, you need to go to your settings. So first of all, you wanna to go to output and just select audio track one as your streaming track because you can only se select one of these you can't output multiple tracks at once and then go into recording and select the first four tracks here you can use five and six if you have any use for them but i don't think most people do now, this is going to make more sense in a minute when i show you guys the advanced audio properties so click ok there okay so if you come back to one of your scenes and just right click on the cog of any of your audio outputs or inputs and click on advanced audio properties. Now, this is where you tell those audio sources where you want them to go to. So if you remember, we set track number one as our streaming track. That's the track that the stream is going to hear. So we want them to hear everything in this case. That's why we ticked all four of our sources. We want them to hear desktop sound, Discord. We want them to hear our microphone and we want them to hear the Spotify music. Now, if you didn't want them to hear the Discord for any reason, I mean, you could uncheck that, or you can also just as easily go and just drop this slider down here to nothing and they won't hear anything. That's the beauty of it. Now, the rest of the tracks are solely for recording. If you remember, we told our recording output to record the first four tracks. So I've also ticked desktop audio on track number two. So the only thing on track two is gonna be desktop audio. The only thing on track number three is gonna be our microphone. And the only thing on track number four is going to be our Discord. All right, guys, so just as a little demonstration here, you can see my voice levels at the moment. I'm gonna show you guys how this is gonna work in your editing software. So here we've got my microphone picking up sound. Here I've got my Spotify playing some gaming music so I don't get hit with a copyright strike. Um, just to show you how this is gonna filter out. And for desktop audio, let's just go and like play one of my videos a little bit. Okay. Your way through customs. So here's my video playing. I need to find a flight terminal. And you guys can see there it's being picked up on the desktop sound. Okay. I'm not going to go and show you guys Discord now because I don't really have anyone to hop on Discord with. But I can assure you it works fine for Discord. So let's stop recording there. Let's turn off Spotify. And let's go and drag this into some editing software here. So I'm using Sony Vegas. So there we go. There's the last one we recorded. And boom, there you go, all four audio tracks. So 
Let's just go and uh, normalize the sound of these so they don't sound too much. So this will be track number one at the top and this will be track number four down here at the bottom. I'll try and make them of a uh, similar size here. So let's just go and mute all three of these. Now you remember that this one was the mixed one at the top, yeah? Okay, so just as a little demonstration here, you can see my voice. So you can hear Spotify, you can hear my voice recording. Uh, let's go to the bit where I'm doing the YouTube video. You can hear the YouTube video playing. Okay, now let's... You remember this is the one that's going to be output to the stream. That's the primary reason. You don't have to record this one if you don't want a mix of everything, but I just record it for the hell of it, really. So let's go ahead and mute that one now. And the second one was desktop audio only, and I think you guys can already see there that the only desktop audio it's recorded is uh, the YouTube video. So if I play it here... You know, there's there's nothing going on. You can't hear Spotify. You can't hear me blubbering away. All you can hear is uh, way through customs, and you need to my YouTube video. Okay, let's mute that one. Let's go to the next one. So this is my microphone. All right, guys. So just as a little demonstration here, you can audio. Let's just go and like play one of my videos. Okay, so there you go, guys. You've got your mix here your desktop audio or your game audio or whatever it is, your microphone audio. And this one here at the bottom that is blank will be your Discord audio uh, or Skype or whatever you happen to use. Obviously it's blank because we didn't record anything, but it should work absolutely fine. Leave me comments down below if you run into any issues. I can promise you this has worked fine for me for several years. VB audio cable is well worth five euros for it. Just, you gotta believe me on that. Now, for those of you interested at the end of the video here, I'll go and add something in that you may not know about OBS. So one of the extra things that I kind of forgot to mention before with having uh, your audio as sources is the fact that you can make different ones. Okay, so we've got starting Zoom music here. You right click here, we go on properties. You'll see that that is uh, cable input. So that's my Spotify sound, right? If I go in just chatting, I also have Spotify here, only this one I have named Spotify, and this one I have named Starting Soon Music. Now this one is set to zero decibels, it doesn't have any filters on it at all, but it isn't the same as this one. This one is set to minus seven decibels, and uh, one of the cool things here is if you right click and you go to filters, you'll notice I've actually put some EQ on this, so I've put like a low, ca uh, a low pass EQ filter here, um, basically what that will do is as I'm playing Spotify and I change from from this scene to this one, the music is not only going to drop by seven decibels in loudness, but that EQ filter is then going to activate. Um, it's basically going to take a lot of the uh, high end out of the music. Only the bassy part of it will be left and it will be much easier to hear the sort of clarity of my voice over the top. So that's just some of the things that using audio input and output as sources allows you to do as opposed to just selecting it in the settings menu here. If you select it here, it's gonna be visible on every single scene, and it's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I hope this was helpful to somebody out there. Leave a thumbs up down below if it was. Like I said, leave me your comments, let me know if you run into any issues, and I will do my utmost to help you. Feel free to hit that sub button. I don't do many OBS tutorials, but uh, I do do some pretty badass Battlefield tutorials, so. Hit that sub button if you're interested in that sort of stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.